Hello everybody and welcome back and welcome to my very first beer review. On the left here we have Yingling Traditional Lager, which happens to be my favorite beer. And on the right is a newcomer to the Yingling line, which is the Yingling Golden Pilsner. Now where I live at, the brewery isn't too far and I know that locals have been drinking this for years in Pennsylvania, but it never made it out of Pennsylvania. But that's all information I know. But coming forward, there's going to be a more beer review videos where I try to find beers. I'm trying to find beers that are you can purchase nationally, not just regional, not like a micro brew. But I might do some micro brews because where I'm at, I live very close to the uh, Flying Dog Brewery, is right down the road. Well, let's get back on topic. In my past, I have drank thousands of different beers, and this was before the explosion of micro brews. And out of all these beers, my beer of choice just to drink, to enjoy, is the traditional Yingling Lager, which is a delicious beer. But this is his newer younger brother, which I have not tried yet, is a Pilsner. And I'm not a big fan of Pilsners. They're not bad. They're not much different from a lager. I believe it's all to do with the brewing process with the yeast. Uh, I think the lager has a heavier yeast that sits on the bottom of the brew tanks. And the Pilsner is a top brew yeast. You know, as you can tell, there's a big difference in color. The traditional lager has a nice dark golden a nice dark golden caramel color and the Pilsner looks more like a like a Budweiser which I do not care for at all a nice light color these glasses are a little tinted but not that much you got your golden beer color well here we go here's my first taste of the Pilsner ever let's give it a shot It's not bad. It's got a, a a twinge to it at the end. It's got a, a little bit of a bite. The lager, I'm used to drinking. I could drink it by a gallon. Christ. Mm, that's good. It's a very thick flavor. It's a, a lot of people that I know who drink a lot of Coors Lights, Buzz Lights, uh, Budweiser, Bud Ice, stuff like that. And they're, and they're all, to me, they're all light beers. They're very weak. This is a nice thick beer. It's, it's a heavy beer, I would say. Not real heavy like a stout, but it's good full body beer. This beer is a very easily, a very drinkable beer. It's not bad. I could drink it. It has a, a taste. I, I can't figure it out. Maybe it's a wheat or something, but very smooth beer. It even says so on the label. Refreshing and smooth beer with a taste. I could drink this. This is easily a drinkable beer. I don't know why they want the brown bottle. Maybe because it is a lighter beer. Because I'm used to the England in the traditional green bottle. Mm -hmm. I'm still drinking it. Just, just take it, take it all in. It's good. I like the traditional better, probably because I'm accustomed to it. But this is a good beer, very drinkable. Not a real strong flavor. Definitely nothing like a stout. Not as full body as a lager. Goes down a little bit more like a, a traditional domestic beer, like a like a Budweiser, but with a like I said, with that extra twang. That is just good. So if you want to check it out. I give it a thumbs up and this one I'm gonna drink a gallon of this so <laughs> if y'all like this video there are gonna be more videos coming in the future so feel free to like and subscribe have a good one